Hey there, YouTube viewers, and welcome to episode 2 of Mario and Luigi Dream Team Bros. In the previous episode, we were introduced to Pelo Island, and we got a rather crude welcome. After we had a little bit of quiz time, we were trying to be fed to monsters, and that kind of sucks. So, let's see what this all is at the end of the other bridge, whatever. Oh ho, at last you come. I kept waiting for too long. That did not quite go to plan earlier, no, but the backfire has only made Monvrat grow. Another one. Voila! This one is stronger, we and ravenous. Wait a minute, you send in two monsters that failed, so you're gonna try again by sending in one? Prepare for nibbling. This ends only when the last morsel is snacked. Now! Have that him! Oh, ah. Hmm? Wake up! Now, lazy monsters, this is not nap time! Master Mario, seize the day! Leap upon that hapless fellow to begin the battle. Good luck, you'll land some pre fisticuffs damage. Let's go! This is called entering a battle with a damage boost, as you'll damage all enemies upon fall while entering. Called the first strike. To damage the foe before the fight starts. Make a habit of this. Of course, that makes sense. And in the meantime, we're just gonna continue to challenge these. As you can see, they still live. Dodge them. Like what I just did is a counter attack. And he's gonna explain that, but I already did it. Basically, jump at the right moment. That's all I have to say about that. Just jump at the right moment and you should be fine. I'm gonna attack the other one for once. There we go. And they should be down already. But of course, introduction battles, introduction battles. I'll leave the rest to you. Thank you, Toadsworth. Now I can take them down by myself. That's one. Can I take the other one with a counter? Yeah, I can. There we go. And that's a lot better. We're making some progress on the leveling up. But this is the first level, so don't expect too much. Well, that is that. Wait, what? Wow. There are mistakes here and there, but this was quite the spectacle, no? Wait a minute. This was... a show? An act? But of course! This was one of many events prepared for Vul. You felt the passion, no? Monster supper indeed! Oh, I'm so relieved. My heart almost stopped. I'm not. What fucking entrance is that? Seriously. Oh, we. That is satisfactory. Now let's continue on while. Okay. There we go. Pilo Castle. She lies just before us. We are a moment away. Come. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like we shall reach proper lodging at last. For seeing us here safely. <laughs> Although, now that I think of it, whatever happened to Luigi. Quite right. We haven't seen him since arriving at the Blimport. Might he still be dozing? Mr. Mario! Is it a, Wow, a toad. <sighs> I'm here with a Luigi report. He's still totally conked. We've got top toads and waking up duty, but no dice. We'll get him up eventually, though. You guys go ahead. Damn me, such a slug of that. Alright, let's keep going. And wait, that toad is still going with it. What? Why didn't he just walk back trying to report on stuff? Oh well. It's beyond my reach, I guess. And he. We're getting a road direction here. Because obviously we can, we're not allowed to go up, as that's not the direction of the castle. But whatever is the direction of the castle is where we're at right now. Right there, in the distance. That's a rather interesting castle, to be quite honest. Welcome! We oui, welcome! Welcome to Pilo Castle! Are we enjoying the good times so far? We, oui, your faces tell me this is true. Well, it certainly was exciting. Oh, sweet princess, these words give me joy. The heart it soars, the dreams they are true. And now, let us enter the castle, s'il vous plaît. We go! Luigi! There he is. Oh man, of course he trips. Master Luigi, you are late! Well, I'm glad you made it in time. You're worried you'd never show. Oh, we! Oui. Monsieur Luigi joins the same quiz on his way here. That is right, we, oui, monsieur? We, oui, that is right. Now, Messieurs Mario and Luigi, you want some coins as the quiz is not so? And how many coins did we win? Under my hat. We won a total of 50 coins. Wait, I won about 15, so Luigi got a lot of money. Hmm, but this sum is a bit how you say make, at home. 
Perhaps a petite game to fatten the wallet? Before you answer, know this. The game is quick and easy. Oh, why not give it a shot? I mean, it's money. Ah, she adores the princess. She catches them quick quickly. I have no idea what they're saying. But it's something like we'll do it. Very well then, since time is money, now we play Coin Up Challenge. Drop the thing! Wow. Oh, those are multipliers, that's for sure. Monsieur Mario, Monsieur Luigi, you need to take turns hitting the blocks to elevate the platforms. Monsieur Mario will hit the red block by pressing the A button, and Monsieur Luigi will hit the green block by pressing the B button. Take turns hitting the blocks with good timing to go up, up, up. And that's a multiplier, of course. The higher you go, the greater the multiplier on the coins you hold. And if you make it to the very top, I will even offer the special prize. So take turns hitting those blocks and try to go as high as you can. Hello, now we start the coin up challenge. Start there. You got 25 seconds to reach the top. It's really not as difficult. Just alternate these two. If you do it at this rhythm, you should be fine. Just alternate them. And as you can see, I'm almost at the top. I don't even need... I, I don't even need half of the time to get up there. The game ends. Coins times three. That means we got 150. Nice. Super! Stupendo! Parfait! You start with 50 coins, and we multiply that by three. So between you those, the grand total is 150 coins. Nice. That's a lot better. As a prize for the perfections, you get some one of the looks. In case you didn't know, one of the looks fully restores your HP and BP once you fall, and you can sell it for 150 coins right now, so it's actually good to sell it if you want to. Coin up challenge, it ends now. And here, a prize just for playing. We oui, and since you have this mushroom. Of course. Luigi gets the mushroom. Monsieur Mario, Monsieur Luigi, this is fine work, huh? We. Oui. And now the welcoming games and to the castle. Let's enter the castle. And will you look at that? It's Starlo, also from Bowser's Inside Story. And he will recognize us. Oh look, it's Starlo. Princess Peach, that's worth. You were invited to this island as well. That's right. I came all the way here to represent the star sprites. Hello, yellow. Oh, hello yellow indeed. You seem as peppy as ever. Huh? Mario! It's been so long, I haven't seen you since our last adventure. I met your Princess Peach, it's relieved to have you around. Oh. Hey Luigi, I haven't seen you in a while either. Of course, I'm sure it's a relief to have you here too. I mean, I would say that, but seriously. Just look at you! You look totally wrecked. Did you get mugged or something? And you just got here. I used to run down already. What? I don't know. Luigi doesn't know either. Oh, oh, excusez-moi. You have taken the damage in battle, it seems. We. Oui. Perhaps you should use the mushroom I gave to you? This idea it is nice. So you got a mushroom? Of course. Do you know how to use it? I um, don't need a reminder. I do know. No, I don't need a refresher. I know how to use it. Now then, peoples, I must say again, welcome to the fi Pilo Island. I almost messed up that. The castle, Pilo Castle. You must walk around it. We, oui, you must touch many things, you must banter with the staff. And you must sightsee. Sightsee the castle like crazy. The tidbits of information about the islands, they will sprinkle down. And they will guide you how best to enjoy this paradise. And by the way, don't forget the... How do you say? Gift shop? It's over there. The shopping it is here. Once you have sampled the sightseeing, return to me, see for play. Now lay. Lovely, let's start the castle then. We're all going our ways. Um, it's no surprise Luigi jumps for B as Mario jumps for A. You can even let them jump at the same time. But we're gonna start the gift shop. However, I'm gonna press the menu button here and then go to the item screen and use a mushroom on Luigi as he only has 5 HP and that's not a lot. Like, if you go to the tutorial, they will let you do the exact same thing, but then a lot slower. And there's a Yoshi here. That's always awesome. I'm so hungry. The stuff they're selling over there looks so delicious. Now this over here is the bad shop, it's closed right now, so you can't really get a lot. What is open, however, are the item and gear shops. As standard from Mario Luigi games, you can buy items here. Discount boots, um, this system is a little bit different. The number on the left is the number your defense will gain, and the number on the right is what the total will be. So right now it's 22, plus 4 makes 26, plus 10 makes uh, 32. 
And the same goes for the where. Basically, this is the best deal right now. It's 140 coins, but increase your defense with 18. I'm gonna give that one. Might as well give it to Mario right now. And flip it. Which means, obviously, that I have something to sell right now. With L and R, you can navigate through these things, and you can sell one of these, for example. Basically, this will get uh, common over time. If you need to, you can buy items over here, like mushrooms and uh, syrup jars, but we don't need those right now. Well, well, not. Let's explore a little bit of the castle, right? So, this is some sort of speech shop, or whatever. Those things are closed, so we can't go there, and... That's Tarlo. We can, however, go this way. And this way you can talk to a few people here. There are some others here. And this is some sort of information desk here. The princess is visiting. I'm watching you. It seems like a library, but there are two items here. A mushroom and five coins. Always nice. I mean, it's free. And they told us to roam the place, so one might as well roam the place. That's all you can do right now. You can have a chat with Starlo if you want, but... I'm just gonna go on with the story here. My sightseeing is definitely finished. Very well then, attention, Princess Peach and companions. There is an attraction space just ahead of here, we. And in it we have prepared the special event for you. So as the, that you try it, see who play. And enjoy. Well, that seems promising. A whole dark room. We're entering it anyway. What? Wait, what? 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 Yes, welcome to Peel Island! Something on the screen? I'm the administrator of this island, Dr. Snoozemore. Yes, and I should like to tell you of the island's lore. Oh god, history lessons with Dr. Snoozemore. A long time ago on this island, the Pillow Folk lived in this place and called it the Pillow Kingdom. But then over a short span, the Pillow Kingdom suddenly fell and was no more. Well, that escalated quickly. What happened to the Pillow Kingdom? Mm, yes, this question lingers. It is but one of the mysteries that we are actively trying to solve today. Indeed, another of these mysteries sleeps deep within Pillow Castle. Some say a treasure hides there since the time of the Pillow Kingdom. The deeper passages have only recently been discovered. What treasure do you suppose sleeps in this cas... Of course, it's Snoozemore. He fell asleep. What a surprise. Oh my, fascinating! So there's a treasure sleeping somewhere in this castle. What sort of treasure do you suppose it's sleeping here? Wait, why is that open? Your Majesty, please! Step down at once, I sense calamity! Wait, what? What? Well! Okay. It took over Princess Peach and Toadsworth. You! Why is there a moving rocket platform in the first place? Ah, we. Oui. I must tell you, back there we found this ancient hidden area. That platform was already recently installed for the exploring. But it is in the testing phase, or at least it was. The pressure of the petite footsies activated the mechanism, huh? We oui, technology, the magnifique. It just wants back there anyway. Nothing dangerous, right? Right? I've not come back there myself, too dumb for moi. But I hear there is something back there, we. Oui. Something protects the treasure. Great. Princess Peach and Toadsworth are in there with some ancient thing. It's back. Mario and Luigi, you have to get after them, and quickly. Of course. Make that platform work again. Uh, oui, very well. When you are ready to depart? Just speak to these staff, s'il vous plaît. Well, if you want to restock, or whatever, these things are all blocked as you can see, but if you want to restock, just go ahead. I don't really need to. So, I'm ready to go to the ancient native area. Please step onto the platform. And off we go as well. Into the darkness. Now there's a little minigame here I have for you. Basically you jump with A for Mario, you jump with B for Luigi and you try to get as many coins as you can. It's a fun minigame and it can definitely give you a lot of money here. This track is quite a while. And I wonder what Princess Peach and Toadsworth have been doing. They better jump as well and get some money for me. Seriously. I mean, this starts off really bad again. I mean, we get ambushed just for lolskis apparently. And now they're gone again, but this time into something that nobody knows what it is. So as you can see, I got 100 coins already, which is nice since we recently bought some stuff. Nothing special yet again, just jumping with A, jumping with B. It's really not a trick to um, get perfect coins here. There are a few tricky parts, but basically 
Just make it a little bit of a rhythm, I guess. Because you can see from the shadows with the distance, be distance between the two E's, and just jump with B and A. Nothing to miss here, seriously. A little bit of alternating here, right here. Two of them, three of them. This is the tricky one. That's four of them. And together, and together, and together. There we go, perfect. Really not as hard. Just basic platform. And of course, Luigi gets smashed into the wall. Mario does as well, he recovers, Luigi doesn't. It's basic. And he's knocked out. Again they come. Poor fools! Look upon the ghost that haunts this castle. My name whispered in horror is Smoldergeist. Long have I wondered these dark passages, and long have I guarded these hidden ways. None may pass through to what lies within. You must suffer the fate of all intruders. Those who trespass meet this. Huh? They meet what? They meet what? Oh, that. Battle time! This time you're getting instructed on how to battle with two enemies. Or actually with two bros, of course. Instructed by Starlo. I'm not worried about Mario at all, but as for Luigi, I have my doubts. You used to be bound to attack. We know this. Seriously, this is nothing special. So, this is basically your normal battle. You don't have anything in terms of bro skills yet, just Mario attacks with A, Luigi attacks with B. The same goes for dodging. Mario dodges with A, as Luigi dodges with B. And I love Luigi's tear. Like, that's a hint they're giving. The way they're looking... Yeah, I know. Already. I really know, shut up. They're pretty much looking at the one they're gonna attack. So that one's gonna go for Luigi. Nice, lucky. And that one's gonna go for Mario. Um, lucky. Oh, well. You're gonna interrupt me. Remember, you see it's my HP, if it gets them down to zero, you get knocked out. You can use an item in case you need it. Seriously. If you need to escape my battle, you use flee. Seriously, Star, I know this already. Dang it. In general, you should try to finish the What I was gonna say... Um... I forgot already. <laughs> Seriously, I forgot what I was gonna say. God damn it, Salva, why did you interrupt me there? Man. Oh well, it's probably nothing really important or something that will be covered later on. So I just dodge him like normally. Oh, I was gonna explain about Lucky, I'm really sorry. Lucky basically is determined on your stash stats. And the higher your stash, the more chance for Lucky. And Lucky, I believe, doubles or adds 50% of your damage. For one hit. I believe it's plus 50, but... I'm not really sure. So we get 9 experience and the flag goes up for both of us. Right now the difference is minimal, but hey, it's something, right? This is not over, no. Your doom awaits deeper within. None may approach the revered one. The revered one. And the door opens. Vision Toast Work must have gone ahead. This place was dodgy, I don't like this one a bit. Let's head deeper. Yeah, I really wonder how they pass this test. I mean, Peach really can't fight for shit, and so can uh, it's so sto uh, bleh. Toad's worth is just as worthless. See what I did there? Anywho, I'd like to wrap things up for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for episode 3 of Mario and Luigi Dream Team Bros, where we're gonna venture on in this ancient hidden area and see where Peach and Toadworth have gone. See you guys next time.